A great friend of ours tonight, a former WHS 11 reporter and weekend anchor, is back on the job at our company-owned station in Jacksonville, Florida, after nearly losing his life at the age of 33. What a frightening time it's been for Robert Bradfield. You may remember him as he was on the air here for two and a half years in Louisville. When he moved back home to Florida, he was reporting live one day. Something wasn't right. He was on the way to heart failure. Now he is so grateful and healing. Well, take a look here behind me. We are on North Liberty Street and we were responding to the fire that broke out around two o'clock this afternoon. We do know that there are no injuries, but JFRD is still on scene. And as soon as we learn more. I woke up one morning and could not walk to the bathroom and sat on the edge of the bed for about 10 minutes trying to catch my breath. Well, good evening. We are here on when scene. When First Coast News reporter Robert Bradfield experienced shortness of breath last fall, he thought he might have COVID-19, but all three COVID tests he took came back negative. <laughs> a plane crash claiming the life of the pilot. We are told the Florida Highway Patrol is investigating. There was a live shot we are near the end of September that I could not catch my breath and I was physically, I couldn't do it. A pilot dying in a plane crash just north of Hilliard in Nassau County. And it was actually our boss, our news director, called me and said, you don't look well. Uh, have you been to the doctors? Have you called the doctors? I guess I didn't want the inconvenience of going to the hospital and dealing with that and then being an inconvenience at work as well. Robert, like many people, ignored warning signs. He attributed his 30 pound weight gain and the swelling in his legs to being less active during the pandemic. So I just, I literally thought to myself, I can get over this. But on October 1st, he knew he needed help. And good evening. We are following that breaking news. We do know that there are no injuries, but JFRD is still on scene. And as soon as we learn more. My dad drove up from Orlando and the whole way down, I was laying flat in the passenger seat because I could not catch my breath. His parents took him straight to the hospital. Normal heart rate between 50 and 70, 75. That's resting. My heart was going 170 beats. And they said, well, we need to take you to our main campus. He was rushed to Advent Health Orlando. There were some periods in the hospital where it certainly was touch and go. Robert was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, a disease that stops the heart muscle from pumping efficiently. Robert's heart was only pumping 20% of its capacity. Doctor came knocking and said, you have heart failure. And as a 33 year old, you never, you, you never think of that. He also learned he had diabetes and atrial fibrillation, an irregular rapid heartbeat. We even evaluated him for the possibility of whether he might need a heart transplant to survive being able to be discharged from the hospital. That's how sick he really was. First eight days in the hospital, I lost 30 pounds of fluid. Had he waited much longer to go to the hospital, his cardiologist, Dr. Naveen Bellum, says Robert might not be alive today. A stroke or heart attack was imminent. I really hate to say if he had put it off for even potentially a few more weeks or a few more months, he could have been in an unrecoverable state. I did not believe in my wildest dreams that that would be a diagnosis that I would be given. When he was finally sent home, his doctor ordered cardiac rehab three days a week. He came here to Memorial Hospital Jacksonville to rebuild his heart function and strength working his way up to being able to run again. He can live a full active life, but he's going to always need to take care of himself. He's going to need to pay attention. I'm making it. Heart disease can happen at any age. Risk factors include smoking, high blood pressure and cholesterol, diabetes, stress, obesity, and being inactive. There are a lot of individuals. They don't want to know that there's something wrong but it is very safe to come to the hospital. It's very safe to go to the doctor's office. It is one of those things that you really do need to pay attention to your body. After a three-week hospital stay and a nearly five-month leave of absence from work, 
Robert was finally able to return to First Coast News in February. You don't take life for granted anymore because when you're sitting there in the hospital room thinking, do I need to plan my own funeral or who's going to be invited to my funeral? What are they going to say? Your mind goes there, but you don't want it to. We've got a heart rate of 137 right now. His heart once weekend. When you are allowed to wake up each morning, you know that he has had a hand in that. Now grateful and healing. I wanted to share my story to let people know that there's got to be other people out there that may be in my position. If they don't do something now, then the alternative is, is not being here.